All right, guys, what's going on? My name is Ollie Ward, and welcome back to the Ollie Ward channel. I hope you've all had a fantastic Tuesday and you're ready for some Leeds United transfer news. It is the third day of the January transfer window. Leeds have already brought one player through. Can we get some more? But before we do get into the Leeds United transfer news, be sure to smash that like button. I asked for 300 likes last time, and we hit like nearly 600 likes. So let's go for 400 likes. Can we smash it? Get down there and smash a like right now. Also, subscribe if you're new. I wanted 9.1k, and you guys smashed it. Could we do 9.2k after this video? I doubt it, but get down there and subscribe. I'm going to give you three seconds. One, two, three. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, and also comment today your favourite Leeds goal this season. We haven't scored many. Well, we have, actually. But which one's your favourite? I like Sam Greedman's one against Bournemouth. It was lovely. Or Somerville against Liverpool. Let me know in the comments down below. Right, let's stop waffling on and let's get into the Leeds United transfer news. First of all, we are going to talk about, obviously, the new signing that came in today, Max Vober. Maximilian Vober. I did tell you guys uh, in the latest video that he would be signing this week. He got his medical done and he has join the Whites. Leeds United are delighted to announce the signing of Max Vober from Austrian side Red Bull Salzburg for an undisclosed fee subject to a work permit. Uh, it, the final fee, including add-ons, could be up to around 20 million euros, which is around 17, 18 million pounds. That's including add-ons, but we're looking around, I mean, anything around that price is decent in the Premier League. This man's got experience as well, and he's only 24 years old. He's penned a deal until the summer of 2027, so four and a half year deal at Ellen Road. He becomes the first signing uh, of the January transfer window. Uh, he's an Australian international with 13 caps to his name. Wober can operate at both left back and centre back. And he also said himself in his first interview that he can play in the number six, which is also nice. He has won the Ever Devise Championship. He's won the Dutch Cup. He's a three times Austrian Bundesliga champion, a three times Austrian Cup champion. This man's got experience at decent levels. He's also played in the Europa League as well with Red Bull Salzburg. This man looks good, and I like the look of him already. He said he's going to die in this shirt. Not actually, but he will put everything on the line for us. And we need more players like that. We need more leaders. But what does this mean to Pascal Strauch? What does this mean to Liam Cooper? What does this mean to Furpo? Who knows? Who, who, who knows? Is he going to start him off at left back or is he going to move him to left centre back? Is Strout going to be left centre back? And Cooper's out. I don't know if you can get rid of Cooper after his performance against Newcastle. I can see Furpo dropping down the ranks though. Like, you know, th there's Pascal there and Leo Hieldo comes on before Furpo. I just, I, unfortunately, Furpo right now seems like a massive flop. But uh, welcome to the club, Max Vober. I hope to see him. I don't think we'll see him against West Ham, but maybe our next game after that against Cardiff. Uh, I believe it is uh, in the FA Cup. He might get a feature. But let's talk about more incomings. This isn't what... The, I mean, Leeds aren't done with incomings, apparently, according to Phil Hay and The Athletic. Leeds are interested in Coventry striker Victor... I mean, I mean, Victor Gokoresh. I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's what I'm going to go for. Victor Gokoresh, The Athletic's Phil Hay has confirmed Leeds director of football, Victor Orta, is keen on the 67-goal striker. I mean, this gets me excited. I know he plays for Coventry, but this man is an absolute machine. I don't know if you've watched him. Watch some highlights. I always say it, guys. I'm not going to tell you how to spell it because I don't know myself, but the Coventry striker is absolutely brilliant, and I'd love him in at Ellen Road, and it is confirmed. According to Phil Hay, he's a, probably our most reliable journalist coming into Leeds United, that Orta likes him. Orta's keen, but I think there's a, a lot of other Premier League clubs monitoring him. But if Leeds can accelerate, if Leeds can be quick, we could get in a decent striker. And I really like the look of Victor Gerakesh. Is that what is that what it is? Gokoresh, I've wrote down here. I don't know if that's true. Victor Gokoresh, I, I, who knows? But yeah, Leeds want him. Check him out on highlights. He looks Good. Also, Leeds United are interested in Moroccan midfielder. Oh, God, they don't help us. Abdelmelhid Sabri. <sighs> Deal could cost less than £6 million. Uh, this is reported by Leeds United News. I'm not 100% sure, you know, if if we are looking for a midfielder. Obviously, a midfielder would, would be definitely good uh, for, for backup. And if it is around £6 million, there's no real risk there with that transfer. But I just don't personally see us bringing in a midfielder. I don't. I see us bringing in Voba. Maybe a left back, as we'll get talking about in a minute, and uh, then a striker, which hopefully is the commentary striker, Victor uh, Giraka Gokoresh, is what I've wrote down here. Sorry. If anyone can tell me how to say it in the comments, let me know. But yeah, that's coming from Phil Hay and The Athletic. They're keen. They need to now go for it. 
Do I think we're going to sign the Moroccan midfielder Sabri? I don't know. I just don't think we're going to sign any midfielders, but I could be completely wrong. I could be completely wrong. We could get one in. I don't know. Right. I thought that Voba was going to be the left back signing. He's going to switch between centre back and left back. But it has come today from the Yorkshire Evening Post, which is very reliable with Leeds United news that Leeds are interested in re-signing lone player Alfonso Pedraza with the Whites need to strengthen the left back position this January. Obviously, uh, we've spoke about this already, Pedraza looking like he might be coming back to Ellen Road. And then I thought the Voba signing, there's been hints that that was the left back centre back defensive signing. But the Yorkshire Evening Post have put this out today and that Leeds are looking to strengthen the left back thing, uh, the left back position, obviously, and we need that. And I think everyone knows. But if, if, if that's the case, Pedraza left back, Voba, Koch, Christensen, that's a nice back line. Even Pascal can switch out there. I don't know how we're going to do it. Who knows? But Leeds are interested in signing Alfonso Pedraza. Right. And the last bit of little bit of news I want to talk about is Luis Sinistera and Patrick Bamford will not be ready for tomorrow's match against West Ham. Meaning, you know, we still need that striker. Rodrigo scoring goals this season. I believe he's got nine goals. Hasn't gone into double digits yet, but he will be obviously by the end of the season. Hopefully he's got a more a one or at least more goals in him for the next six months. Let's hope so. Anyway, uh, but obviously Leeds do need a striker. Patrick Bamford missing again. Sinistera, unfortunately, when he gets playing, he's brilliant. He's absolutely brilliant, but he's just not getting, he's just not fit at the moment, which is not good for Leeds United because he is the, the perfect player we could use for right now. But Somerville, Willie Nonto, they're coming into the ranks and I'm really enjoying them. Uh, if Leeds do win tomorrow and get things going the right way, we could be sitting in 12th, pretty in 12th, mid-table, and I wouldn't mind that at all. And that really, does that paper cracks, or does that kind of show, okay, we're doing some things right. So I think that 0-0 against Newcastle was a massive result, and let's just hope we can push on against West Ham tomorrow. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed the Leeds United transfer news. Let's just quickly do a recap. Welcome, Max Vober. Leeds are interested, and they're I mean, confirmed by Phil Hay and The Athletic that they're interested in Coventry, uh, Coventry striker Victor Gokeresh, Um, 67 goals. Mate, have a look at this man. I've looked at his highlights today and he looks the perfect striker. I like the look of him. Uh, Leeds interested in Moroccan midfielder Sabri. Dill could cost less than six million. Obviously, I don't think we're going to bring in a midfielder, but you never know. We might do. They might shock us. And Leeds are interested in re-signing um, uh, lone player Alfonso Pedraza with Leeds needing to strengthen the left-back position. Obviously, we do. And guys, what's your score prediction for tomorrow's match against West Ham? Let me know in the comments down below. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this Leeds United transfer news. The support on these videos already has been insane. Let's keep that going. Let's smash 400 likes. I don't know if we can do that, but get down there and smash that like right now. Also, subscribe if you're new. Let's go for 9.2K, ladies and gentlemen, and comment your favourite goal this season and just your thoughts on, on the players we've spoke about today. I've been Ollie Ward. You guys have been excellent and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheery.